Welcome back to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. Joining us now to fill us in on the cool stuff going on around town, from the Boise Weekly, it's Tara Morgan. How are you? Pretty great. How are you, Brad? Good. Hey, I've heard we've got kind of an eclectic mix of things coming up this weekend. Yeah, absolutely. Um, kicking things off on Thursday, it's a really neat documentary screening. It's called Tony and Janina's American Wedding, and that explores... Um, sort of the uh, immigrant struggle of a Polish-American family uh, that's trying to remain together despite, uh, you know, U.S. immigration laws. Wow. And so that's put on um, by the Amor in Exile series, which is uh, our former news editor, Nathaniel Hoffman. So it should be really cool. It's from 7 to 9 p.m. on Thursday. Nice. Yeah. Uh, and then sort of changing gears a little bit, um, on Saturday there's going to be a neat author reading at the Barnes & Noble. Uh, and so it's going to be author David Martin Anderson, and his book is called The Last Good Horse. He'll be doing a reading from that um, at 11 a.m. And that sort of chronicles uh, a man who's working in a Montana slaughterhouse in the 1930s. So it's a really interesting mix of, you know, history and a really compelling story. Yeah, and it's always great to have the author actually come in for a book signing and yeah. a little explanation on things. Totally. Very cool. Um, yeah, and then also on Saturday, a super fun event for us at the Weekly. It's our annual Bars and Stripes Alley Cat Race. Uh -huh. um, yeah, so it should be super fun. It's, uh, it's going to kick off at 2 p.m. That's when registration starts at the Boise Weekly on Broad Street. Um, people we've heard are going to be camping out this year because we only have, you know, a little over a hundred spots and so people people get really intense about it. Right. So, um, yeah, the registration starts at 2 and the race kicks off at 3.15 and riders go all around town stopping at different bars and having to do different sort of crazy tasks. Wow, nothing like happy hour before happy hour gets started, huh? Exactly. Very cool. And so Monday, as you know, is the 4th of July, so there's going to be lots of really awesome fireworks events going on throughout the valley. Um, some cool ones going on in Boise. Uh, kicking things off in the morning is the annual Kiwanis Pancake Breakfast, so that's from 7 to 11 in Julia Davis Park. Uh, and then following that up is the Liberty Day Parade, which is going to start at 11, and that kicks off at around 11th and Jefferson, goes down to about 5th and back up Idaho. Pancakes and parades, got to love the start of the day. I know, yeah, and it just it gets better. There's going to be a baseball game, the Boise Hawks versus the Yakima Bears, and so that starts at uh, 7.35 p.m. at Memorial Stadium, and it's going to be followed by a fireworks display. And then there's the big Ann Morrison Park fireworks display uh, later that night, and that's at around 10.15 p.m. But there's going to be some bands playing beforehand, uh, including uh, Pilot Error and uh, the Boise Community Band and some others. So. That is awesome. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and there's a ton more events going on all around the valley, which we have listed at boiseweekly.com if you want to check that out. Very cool. Yeah. And what else have we got? Well, then... Uh, Coming back around next Wednesday, actually, at the Egyptian, there's a really neat film screening. Uh, it's going to be the 1920s classic, the silent film, Mark of Zorro. And so it's going to be um, with organ accompaniment by Thomas Trenny. Um, and so it starts at 8 p.m. and it's $25 at the door or uh, $20 in advance. Wow, the silent movie with a live organ accompaniment. I know, it sounds cool. Yeah, it's really cool, very cultural. Event. Yeah. Awesome. Well, we really appreciate the heads up on the great 4th of July weekend events that are coming our way this week. Yeah, thanks, Brad. Thanks, Tara. And now it's time for